phone. Oh. Oh wait, I have their house keys now. Or wait. Can I get it to do it from here? Oh. Okay, someone's having an affair. Shop mm, the okay. Oh, how is it spelled? Was it IE or EI? TSH tests. Still can't access my phone from that screen. That's the wrong thing. So there's a giant hole at their place. Well, let's go check it out. Bye! This one? That did it. It's about time. I'm freezing out here. Um, go in? <sighs> it's freezing in here. And it's not from the cold. Oh, good. You feel it too. I was worried it was just me. What is it? I don't know. Nothing nice. That's for sure. Picky. The label on the key reads, Emil. Looks like a cordless phone. That's not a shelf. That's a bookcase. It looks totally ordinary. A cheap reproduction painting of a sad-eyed woman. Too cheesy for the bathroom, I guess. Ugh, 
It's not moving. Who are you? Hello? Leah? Is that you? That's Officer Piero, and you don't get to ask questions. You can't see it, but there's a Bushnell 22 millimeter rifle aimed right at your head. Step into the middle of the room now. Good. Now turn around. Face the shelf. Now I repeat, who are you? Okay. Well, he did say bestower. I'm Rosangela Blackwell. I'm the bestower. The bestower? You're the bestower? You? As far as I know. Thank God. You have no idea. No idea what it's been like. Hiding in this little panic room. Waiting. Not knowing. Not knowing what? What exactly is going on? Wait. You mean George didn't tell you? No. He... He died before he could tell me anything. Died? George is dead? Yes. I'm sorry. Did you save him? His ghost? Spirit? Or whatever? No. Leah? Sorry. I... We were close. Towards the end. He was a good person. A bit lost, maybe, but we all were. He didn't deserve that. Hell, none of us do. Leah, I need you to tell me what happened. Of course. George didn't tell you. He couldn't have told you. He won't be telling anybody anything ever again. Leah, please. Yes, I know. It's just hard to say. I mean, who could I tell? Who would believe me? Emil? Corey? Sam? God, they must be worried sick. There was no time to say goodbye, but at least we're safe in here. Sorry, did you say we? Is someone else in there with you? Yes, my little Kendra. I didn't want her to get mixed up in all this, but I'm going to save her too if I can. Leah, Kendra is... Kendra is dead. I'm sorry. I know that. Of course I know that. But sometimes I can pretend she's just sleeping. She's still... so still. But her spirit is still with me. I can't see her, but I can feel her, sense her. It helps. Where are you? Behind the wall, in a little room. The room has been specially sealed. Nothing physical or spiritual can harm us in here. We have enough supplies to last us a few more months, but we probably won't need it now that you're here. Leah, are you sure Kendra's spirit is in there? Of course, she has to be. I had to bring her here with me. I had to keep her spirit safe, safe from whatever happened to George, to the others. Well, now I'm worried what's gonna happen to little Kendra's safe. spirit. She is safe, isn't she? I can't say if she's safe or not, but she's not in there with you. What? How? How can you know that? I... Well, you know who I am. What I can do. I saw her. Kendra. Her ghost, I mean. She's not in there with you. I'm sorry. You saw her. That means they wouldn't have done that. They wouldn't dare, would they? Hold my daughter's soul for ransom? That's sick. Her soul is fine. For the moment. She's upstairs in her room. Oh, thank God. Listen to me. My daughter is dead, and I'm thanking God. I can't do this much longer. You must think I'm horrible. You'll help her, won't you? That's what you do, right? Yes, that's what I do. I really need you to tell me what happened. I can't help you if you don't tell me. Help Kendra first. I'm sorry, but she has top priority. I feel bad for George and the others, but this is Kendra. Damn everyone else. Help her, then I'll tell you everything you need to know. What does Kendra like for breakfast? Breakfast? What does that have to do with anything? I don't know. She keeps asking about breakfast. Oh, the password. Password? If I was busy on the case, I'd ask a colleague to escort Kendra home. She didn't know everyone I worked with, so I taught her to ask them, what did I have for breakfast? And if they replied, prunes in a Danish, she would know they could be trusted. It was... it was supposed to keep her safe. I'm going to leave now, Leah. I'll be back when... well, I'll be back. Just one question before you go. How is she? Does she know that she's... you know? No, but she will. That's part of how it works. They come to terms with it, and then they leave. I see. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry you have to do this. This whole thing just spiraled out of control. Well, yeah, it always does. Okay. You okay? Sure. J just give me a second. I thought the basement smelled a little funny, but I never thought... Yeah. Take all the time you need. We don't really have time. Hi. Kendra? Uh-huh. I'm a friend of Joey. You met him earlier? Oh, yeah. Is he around? He always is. Okay. Tell him hi. I have to practice now. Hi. Kendra? Uh-huh. I'm sorry about your parents, Kendra. I grew up without any family at all. I kind of know what it's like. Yeah, um... I really should practice now. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hi. Whoops. Kendra? Uh-huh. If you're willing to talk to Joey, you can talk to me as well. We're friends. Um... I really need to practice. Sorry. Hi. Can- Ugh. So, I hear you're into Trollgate? You play? I sure do. Cool. What faction are you with? Um, the... Uh-huh. I have to practice now. Hi. Uh... Kendra? Uh-huh. Could I ask you a few questions, Kendra? I... Hey, Kendra? Sorry to bother you again, but I have something I want to ask you. Well, okay. Listen, I really think you need to come with me. Um, why? Look, your dad really wants to see you. I'm here to take you to him. What should I have for breakfast? I believe the answer is... Prunes and a Danish? You're really going to take me to see Dad? You betcha. Okay, let's go. The house is so quiet. Mom must be asleep. It's snowing! Should I go back in and get a jacket? Are you cold? Funny. I'm not cold at all. Mm -hmm. Then you should be fine. Where's the exit? Hey, Joey? Yeah? How come she leaves footprints, but you and me don't? Oh, well, uh, that's easy. Just between you and me? She's much here. I can hear you, you know. Well, this is depressing. This is it. Thanks for taking me. I've got my own key. I can get in on my own. Sure, you, uh, you be safe now. It fits. He's asleep. Yeah, that's he's a, had a rough time. Funny of it. place to sleep. Does he know? Know what? Does he know that I'm, you know? No, he doesn't. Not yet. Good. Do you remember what happened? How you... how it happened? Not really. I remember being with my mom. It was dark and cold, but she was telling me everything would be alright. 
that I would be safe. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Why? It's not your fault. Doesn't matter. This kind of thing shouldn't happen. Lots of things happen that shouldn't. It's just... stuff. Yeah, stuff. So, what now? <sighs> just... just come with me. Tie time. Kendra, I'm gonna have to ask you to trust us, okay? You don't have to ask. I already do. Fair enough. Come over here. Just take a hold of this. Okay. The music, it's amazing. Music? It's everywhere. Can't you hear it? It's like every instrument ever made is a part of it. Do you think... Do you think they need a piano player? Of I don't course. See why they I'm gonna need to practice. But somehow, I think I'll have plenty of time. I guess you can't come with me? I'm sorry. This is a trip you have to take alone. Tell them I'll miss them. Okay? Of course. Ugh. Still standing, at least. Yeah, bright side. She was so... easygoing. Something about kids, I guess. Their minds are more adaptable, flexible to new ideas, even death. Do you really believe that? Do we have any other choice? Come on. We're not done yet. Talia! Uh, this one. You know what? Actually, I'm going to save. I mean, these games don't tend to, but some point and click adventure games have points where you can just ultrally fail or die. It looks totally... Leah, are you there? Oh, it's you, Bestower. Kendra is safe, Leah. You mean she's... She's moved on. She said goodbye to her father, and she said... She said she'll miss you. How could something that was so right... Holy so crap, alone? you're pale! I went to a few meetings, and then I knew I had to join the police academy. It was like a lightning bolt. What kind of meeting? We were all so lost, so hungry for direction and not knowing where to go. All of us searching for that elusive something, that revelation that would fix our lives. The meetings at Grace somehow gave them to us. Gave them to you? Yes. No matter how confused we were, we all found our way. But this, all this was the price. Leah, I need you to focus and tell me what happened. I loved being a cop. I loved being a mother. I did good, didn't I? I thought I did. And you, you do good. That's what I heard. You always help, right? I help the dead. That's what I'm counting on. What? No! What? Jesus! Did, did it work? Why, Leah? Why do this? I'm sorry, but it's the only way. My only escape is through you. I know what you did for Kendra. Now do the same for me. Please, please, before they come for me. Okay, Leah, here's how it works. That's Officer Piero to you, and I know how it works. Great, that saves time. Red here is gonna take you somewhere safe, and when she does, you're gonna have a chat, okay? Fine, fine. Let's just do this quick. You hear me? Don't let this one just fly off into the light. Don't worry. All right, then. It's so quiet here. That little room was quiet, but not like this. 
It's like I'm hearing everything and nothing at the same time. Can you hear it? No, but Kendra said something similar. Is she out there somewhere? Yes. But Leah, before you go, I need you to tell me how you got this way. What led you to this? We called it the Grace Group because we met at Grace Church. We met once a week. We would talk. It was nice. So it was kind of a self-help group? Kind of. Kind of? What did you talk about? Funny, I don't remember. All I know is that it worked for all of us. It was like magic. We all learned what we were meant to be. I joined the police academy and never looked back. George discovered a love of art, made a killing as a dealer. George won't be out there, will he? He's gone. He risked himself, and then he... Oh, what was that? Oh no, Leah, get through the light, quick. I... I can't move. How did they find me? Here of all places. I don't know, just try and hold on. You were supposed to help us. I'm trying, please, I just need time. <laughs> no, not again. Not again. Well. Hey, you okay? No. No, I'm not okay. We were too late. Too late? She was taken, just like George was. All she went through, she did it for nothing. I refuse to believe that. I just can't. Did she say anything, anything at all that could help us? There wasn't time. And there was something else. Something else? How did you get in here? What the? Leah? Um, look, I can explain. Turn around. Hands behind your head. No, wait, listen, I don't have time for this. I said turn around. Hands behind your head. On the floor. Please, just... Now! Well, that went shit. Sorry for the wait, ladies. My assistant seems to be out. Oh, that's right. What can I do for you? Are you the owner of this establishment? My name's on the sign. Ah, so you are Malone. That's me. And you are? My name is Madeline. And your friend? <clears throat> Jocelyn Contis. Pleasure to meet you both. Who am I on? Does it matter? Jeez, what happened here? Hey. Miss Contis, what can I help you with? So, who shot up this place? Hey. Come on, this place looks like the set of a gangster flick. I don't know what you mean. Uh, so, did you see who smashed up your window? What are you talking about? The window looks fine to me. Right, of course it does. Totally agree with you. Are you seriously telling me that this place looks normal? Listen, everything here is top of the line. We're even looking into that dry cleaning stuff. What cleaning? Dry cleaning. It's... Look, never mind. Can I help you with anything or what? Well, see you around. Sure. Um... Huh. Some kind of band. Danny and Linda Marconi? Never heard of them. Well, I actually looked, looked at the sign this time, nice so... Nice-looking fella. Shame about him being dead and all. Hey. Miss Contis, what can I help you with? You in some music? I saw that poster on the wall. Oh, that's Danny's thing. Danny. The guy who runs this place with me, him and his girl, Linda. <laughs> They're in a band. If you can call it that. They play weekends, sometimes. He wants to make it big, but, uh... But what? But nothing. Danny just needs to focus on earning an honest living, that's all. Do Danny and Linda have regular gigs? I don't know. Why? I might want to hear him play. Save your eardrums, lady. That's my advice. Well, see you around. 
Sure. Does this matter? Malone. Hi there. What can I do you for? You mentioned an assistant. Where is he? Danny? I have no idea where he is. So we're a bit short-staffed, but nothing I can't handle. We'll handle that costume of yours with extra care. Costume? That gown of yours looks very authentic. I don't even think you can get that fabric these days. <sighs> have I become antiquated so soon? No offense, meant. I, I quite like it. The tiara's a nice touch. Brings out your eyes. Well, I always thought so. But you are mistaken. We are not leaving my costume here with you. We have other business. What happened here? What do you mean? This shop. It is, shall we say, it looks shot up. Shot up? Look, I know the cleaning lady hasn't been in this week, but it ain't that bad. Now, can I help you or what? I could not help but overhear your conversation with my colleague. This Danny Marconi. He is important to you, is he not? What makes you think that? Your energy. Your aura, if you will. It changes when you speak of him. So tell us, what is Danny to you? I have no idea what you're talking about. Malone. You know precisely what I am talking about, and you will tell us. I... <sighs> I assure you, you will feel much better once you do. I'll feel much better once you leave my shop. I could leave, as you request. But I don't believe you want me to. Not really. Well, do you? I... Who the hell are you people? We are here to help. Nothing more. You are so close now. So close. Why is everything so confusing? It does not have to be. Life used to be so simple. Then Danny had to go follow a pipe dream. He had to make deals with club promoters. Club promoters he couldn't pay. So they showed up here. I told Danny to stay away while I tried to talk some sense into them. And did you? He got away. That's what's important. At least, I think it is. I'm not so sure anymore. I understand you now. You are adrift. You are scared. But there is nothing to be scared of. Come here. My host? Yeah, sorry. Oh, that's how non-Thai people do it. I don't know why I did it. Danny isn't much, really, but he's a good guy. You think it was worth it? I don't know. Sorry. You don't have anything to say? Anything at all? No. Not really. Right. So I just head that way. Yeah. Well, tell your friend thanks. And if you ever see Danny... <laughs> forget it. I suppose it doesn't matter. My host. My host, are you alright? I knew you'd follow me in here. You can never give me a minute's peace. You should not stay here too long. Or what? I'll die. I get it now. We all thought my uncle was nuts, but he was just... Them. He just stopped caring. About anything. Who could blame him? Trust me, my host. It is best to push those feelings aside. Why? It is what must be done. That is all. What does it matter? Listen to me. In time, you will feel differently. Differently? Yes. This will all feel... normal. Normal? I don't want this to be normal! Many of your predecessors felt the same. In time, things changed. I'm going dancing, Madeline. Don't wait up. I see. I suppose after all this time, it was inevitable that one of you deciphered the method. But do you think it will be that simple? It will not work. Do you hear me? It, it will, will destroy, destroy you. you. My host, Jocelyn, Jocelyn Contis, hear me. 
Contest! Contest! 2.23 a.m., Detective Corey Palmer conducting interview with Rosangela Blackwell. Detective Sam Durkin also present. So, Miss Blackwell, tell us again why you were in that house. Say nothing. Tell them nothing. Keep your teeth together. We'll get out of this. Answer the question, Blackwell. I want my lawyer. <laughs> Let the record show that the interviewee has chosen to remain silent. That's your right, but your silence can and will be used against you. Remember that. Fine. Next question. What happened to Detective Piero? Miss Blackwell, I won't ask again. What happened to Detective Piero? Enough, Palmer. You saw the paraffin test. Leah fired that weapon. I refuse to believe that, Sam. Believe what you want. Those are the facts. Well, here's some facts for you. This lady was chatting with Emil Haskins earlier this evening. Not only that, we have a witness who saw her sneaking into his office at work. How do you respond to that? No answer, huh? Well, let me lay it out for you. We spoke to the clerk on duty. We spoke to Emil Haskins, a man who is now a widower, I might add. Nobody gave you permission. But then, breaking and entering isn't really a new thing for you, is it? I've pulled your file. Do you even know how many restraining orders you have against you? Let the record show that the interviewee has chosen to remain silent. Again. If getting banned from the campuses of NYU and Columbia weren't bad enough, we've got a dozen complaints registered against you from businesses and families. I'd call Bellevue to have you taken away. But you're banned from there, too. Who the hell are you? And why haven't you been taken in before now? Palmer, take a walk. Sam? You're tired. Go get a cup of coffee. I don't need coffee. Don't think I don't know what's going on here. I've heard the rumors. That you've got some mysterious informant. Is this her? Palmer? Fine. I'm going. But we will find out what happened. It's our damn job, after all. <sighs> so, you happy now? Of course not. I only wanted to- What? Help? You think you helped anyone here? There's something much bigger going on. So you said. But we cops, we like things simple. Not you, though. You make things complicated just by walking into a room. What are you trying to say? Officially, we're pursuing every lead. Unofficially, there was no trace of the bullet that killed the little girl. With Leah dead, we'll most likely never solve it. The trail is too cold. So, what do you need? Um, excuse me? You want it in so bad? You're in. You won't be on the books. We can't even pay you. This case is too high profile. So, what do you need? Everything you know about George Austin. Palmer can get you that. Speak to him tomorrow. Anything else? Access to Leah's case files. Can't do it. Those are being boxed up and archived. Anything else? Access to George Austin's apartment. I'll take care of it. Anything else? Nothing that I can think of. All right. I From don't on, really you need talk to He'll be at the coffee, breakfast. I guess. Detective Durkin, Sam, why are you doing this? Why me? My first case involved a kid. 30 years ago, it must have been. There was this little girl living with her aunt. The aunt went nuts. Smashing things. Screaming. Total loony. The little girl was hiding in a closet. Couldn't have been more than five. Scared out of her mind. I've had a soft spot for kids ever since. Wait. I see. Go home, Blackwell. Get some sleep. You look like you spent the night in jail. Cause I did? 